Welcome to the Teledynamics video training series for the GrandStream UCM. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. Today, in part one, I'm going to show you how to capture network packets at the UCM for troubleshooting calls or registration issues. In part two, I will cover capturing packets from a GrandStream phone and then merging the two captures together for analysis. First, log into the GUI of the UCM. I want to point out that debug information can be added to the packet capture by first going to Maintenance, Syslog, and using any IP address, like shown, to include the debug information in the packet capture. The entered IP can be any IP that you can filter the search for later. Once you have selected what you would like added to the packet capture, don't forget to save and apply your changes. This step is not necessary unless you would like to include debug information in your packet capture. Next, go to Network Troubleshooting. You can change the capture type, interface to capture from, and filter the data captured. I normally just click the Start button here as the default settings are usually fine to use. Once you have started the capture, recreate the issue you're having, whether it's registration or call related, and then click the stop button once you're done. Next, download the file. The downloaded file is in a TGZ format, which is a Linux compressed file. You can use a Windows program like 7-Zip to open the file and then navigate to the PCAP file inside the compressed file. To open the PCAP file, you can use a program like Wireshark. Once you have the PCAP file opened in Wireshark, most of what is useful for our purposes can be found under the Telephony drop-down menu. In the example PCAP shown, we just have one phone trying to register, so you would want to look under Telephony, SIP flows, to find the registration attempt. You will notice that the state shows as rejected, but this is actually normal. Once you click on the line item and then click the flow sequence button below, you will see the entire registration packet exchange in a separate window, ending with the 200 OK response from the SIP server. This means the encrypted authentication challenge from the UCM has been accepted and the device is now registered. The device attempting to register will always need to send a second register packet after the server replies with a 401 unauthorized. This second packet will contain the encrypted authentication credentials from the device, as shown here. If you see anything different than the four SIP packets exchanged here, you may have a communication issue between the UCM and the device trying to register. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.